Cradled in the mountains of southwest China is the birth of a scientific milestone. It's in the form of FAST, the world's largest radio telescope. Our main objective using the FAST telescope is to observe the cosmos, so it's astronomical research. When it comes to this massive tool, the sky isn't the limit. Scientists want to go beyond that. We're observing these to find answers to cosmos exploration, the origin of the universe, and the origin of life. Just how does FAST do it? First of all, it's big, 30 football fields big. FAST has a giant diameter of 500 meters, so it has very high sensitivity. The size allows the telescope to capture radio signals given off by objects in the universe, like rapidly rotating dead stars and possible alien life. And it won't just be limited to Chinese scientists. They want to open up the installation to international astronomers in hopes of attracting top talent. China says it will accept requests later this year. After nearly nine years in the making, FAST began full operations last January. It follows a disaster last month of what was the world's second largest radio telescope in Puerto Rico. The Arecibo telescope was destroyed when its 900-ton suspended instrument platform plunged 140 meters onto the radio dish below. It became famous when it was featured in a hair-raising scene in the James Bond film, GoldenEye. We feel very sorry that the Arecibo telescope collapsed on December 1st. It was a great pity. This telescope provided a lot of experience for us to learn from, for our observation. The Chinese telescope is up to three times more sensitive than the one in Puerto Rico, surrounding itself with a five-kilometer radio silence zone, where mobile phones and computers are off-limits. Recent political tensions between the U.S. and China have disrupted relations within the space research community. But this new telescope might help them get back on track in a mutual exploration of the universe's wonders. Francis Coe, CGTN.